Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. I'm getting ready to go in there and go thrifting. It's the Ark. It's Tuesday. It's a lovely Tuesday. <laughs> I always start with outside though. Well, that's something to look at. And then I saw something else over here before we go in. Somebody's donated their little train contraption. Ooh, that's large. $34.99. Let me back up. That's really big. It's on a huge pallet. But there you go for those of you that like trains. We actually have some a few spots like this in Colorado that you could ride the um, Royal Gorge. All right, let's go see what we can find. There's something cute. It's a little glass bunny. $1.29. Cased white, little pink mottled ears. Looks like Asian glass, but that's cute for a dollar twenty-nine, right? Okay, there's our first purchase. Wait a minute, what is that? Oh my goodness! What? <laughs> New Haven. Wonder if that. Oh, I hope this still works. I think I'll take a chance on it, clean that up and see if it still works. Burnwood products. Thought it was gonna say something like Sirocco or something. How much is it? Sorry, there it is, $7.99. Hi hi. Hello, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, no, my fault, my bad. Ooh, cross your own face. Sorry. Okay. Yep. Cross your fingers that that works, y'all. <laughs> I seriously filmed this whole row. Seriously. And well, I thought I was filming. Very funny, Yvonne. I don't, I'm not gonna do the whole thing over again, but there were some highlights I showed. This little brass monkey I had fun talking about with y'all, but it's actually metal and someone painted it gold, $1.29. But there's something about that ear. I guess you could put like a earring or something in it and make them, you know. There's something else I talked about, but I didn't buy. Oh, I was talking about this milk glass. So I am selling milk glass pretty well out of the booth. Now that would be half price. Um, but it seems to sell better if it's this more opaque, like what, what I call whole milk glass over like the skim milk, if you know what I mean. Um, and Fenton seems to be selling better out of there for sure. So I'm going to pass on that one. I'll let you guys look, but I didn't see anything. I talked about Cozumel. I've never been there, but I've seen it. I could see the ships, cruise ships, going to Cozumel because I was somewhere on one of these sides at um, Riviera Maya. That was the first time I'd been in the ocean as an adult. The other time I was too young, it was Savannah, Georgia, the boardwalk. But I only really only remember it from pictures. I'm not sure what's happening here. It's kind of cool. Covered in acrylic. I think I'm going to try it. I don't know what someone did, but it's only going to be $1.50. So I'm going to try to save that. And then the other thing that I did pull off this shelf when I thought I was filming is this little cutie pie with the parasol. Now, I'm not big into dolls, and this isn't my decorating theme, but you guys know I'm doing um, a safety pin art collection because it's pretty cheap. This one's $2.99. It's actually the most I've ever paid. It's usually so cheap. And I've been thrifting and I've been gifted a lot. So that's another collection we're going to have fun someday spreading out and looking at. We're in vases. Oh, look, that's got a applique on it too. Monster, handcraft decorated. That's a new name for me. How about that? $3.99. That's good enough, isn't it? Let's see. It's been really hard to get good vases lately. Japan. It's only $1.49, but that cold painting is in rough shape, you guys. 
that's only a dollar forty nine. So I'll let someone else be excited. Somebody's painted this day glow. Okay, just kind of generic, cheaper floral vases that usually get donated. It's a crackle glass. That's a cheaper one too. It's not a Polish one, I don't think, because it's pretty cheap and not done very well. There's an ice bucket. Now this has got etching on it. And I'm looking for a signature, but it doesn't have the quality. Uh, I don't know. Well, coming up close doesn't really help, does it? It doesn't have the quality of like um, Orifers, I don't think, and definitely not Waterford. But it does have um, etching on it. Looking at glasses. You know, if we're not careful, we would see something like this and think it's possibly vintage. But it still has the tags on it. Home Essentials. Really have to be careful. If you're just wanting to sell vintage. I mean, that's a vintage look and some people don't care. So, how much were they? $149. But it's hard to say. They might have been very affordable. Whoever sells that brand, I can't really remember offhand. I... I don't see anything, you guys. Maybe those, they'd be a dollar a piece. Okay, I realized this was short and sweet. The only thing I added was this. <laughs> you know, that's kind of funny, and it's going to be 50 cents. <laughs> Melamine. And I've sold this before. This is just modern floral glass, but it's only $1.99, and I've sold it before. I think because you know that nice colorway. But listen, I've got to go pick up Hannah and run an errand with her, and then I'm going down to another Goodwill. So it'll be about an hour for me and about three seconds for you guys. So I'll be right back. Okay, we got Hannah situated, and we had to come down south. So going to visit this Goodwill down here on Circle that I don't get to very often either. I'll see you inside. Well this is going to be interesting. I don't know if you guys can see but they've got a whole big section um, blocked off with plastic and everything is squeezed together <laughs> like you can't even get between like they're just there. Shelves are full. They're super busy. Music's a little loud but we got this. Oh, look at that dove. That's a mid-century mod looking piece. Myrtle wood. Yep. Having fun regardless. It's going to be a little tricky. Wow. That looks like a summer so type perfume bottle. Maybe it needed a dropper or something. How much is it? $10.99. Ouch. It's not signed, but it does have a nice... Oh, wait a minute. There is something under there. I'm going to peel this off real quick, you guys. I'll be right back because it might be worth it. Well, darn. I'm pushing it already with what I took off, but it is etched something Murano. $10.99. I feel like I need to take a chance on it, though. It's kind of dirty. I'm going to take it to the drinking fountain and wash it, too. There's a dragon. Let's see if it's an older piece. From These things sell from certain makers and if they're older, because people will go to these conventions, you know, and there'll be vendors there that make cool stuff. See, that's on a real piece of wood, you guys. It's got a little broken wing. Darn, that's kind of cool. I wish it had a signature. Sometimes you can be surprised on those. Pottery wall pocket. It's got Jim Shore vibes. It is a Jim Shore. <laughs> Jim Shore turtle. 
I've given in and bought a few pieces of Jim Shore because even though made in China, this is definitely going to be something that, you know, years from now is going to be like, oh, look, it's a vintage Jim Shore. <laughs> this is kind of what I was talking about at the other thrift store, the Arc. Like I call that skim glass. See, it's not quite as opaque. You could, it's kind of more opalescent, so to speak. But not that cool opalescent, you know, like Fostoria does. $8.99, so something like that I would leave behind. I do not need any more swans, but just let me look, okay? <laughs> I've got enough for the white swan Christmas. I don't know why these don't sell better. They're adorable. I always feel like these should be like upcycled. How much is she? $3.49. Like I feel like those should be upcycled, right? Oh, anime looking dolls. I'm looking at this because I have oil and vinegar at my booth that matches this, but the graphics are coming off. $3.99 is not bad though. Oh my goodness, this is not my vibe at all, but she's cute. $3.99. There's two of them. Her fingers are broken, but this one's okay. Uh, I guess too many petals missing. There was the tag. Probably Norco or something like that. $6.99. If that was in a little bit better shape, I might get something like that. This is for your skin. Laser and peel. But $9.99, that's a lot cheaper than what it cost. But still. I'm an esthetician still and I kept my license in case I need it for some odd reason if everything on YouTube and reselling goes south and um, also so I can buy my products wholesale. So I get good deals on really high-end stuff. That's old. That's some old glass right there, $1.29. Too chipped up though. Next section, y'all. I'm seriously going to have to chitter chatter you guys with you. <laughs> Trying to think of what to say. <laughs> Royal Copenhagen, Mother's Day. 1972. Darn. I wonder if Becky would want that. I try not to get her personalized things. Denmark. But you know, she's part of a group that may have shows and sales and other get togethers. Oh, and that's cute too. Just not big on plates. They scare me. They don't sell the greatest. Some acrylic, I see. There's lots of shinies. Oh, acrylic something or other. They got five gallon paint. Guess how much it is? Five bucks. No, they want a hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. basket way in the back. These will sell too. That one might clean up nicely. How much is it? Five ninety nine. Made in Japan. I don't want to pay that much for that smaller one. But I've sold one big as this and shipped it successfully oh my gosh that's new I'm not even gonna bother you know when we thrift enough you've seen all that stuff you recognize it that's a cheaper Mexican or perhaps Indian wedding vessel but quality's not there you guys I saw something else out of the corner of my eye. There it is. This looks like, oh, it's heavy. Look at this candlestick. This looks like a piece of chalet, maybe. Canada. Wish it had color in it, too. But I do like chalet. I'm going to put this in the cart, too. Check under that tag. 
Okay, I snuck to the drinking fountains and washed this piece. Still not, I don't want to take that tag off. I think I'll just get it. But this one cleaned up nicely and now I can read it. It is a Mandruzado. I don't know how to say that, but this is way worth the $10.99. It is a Murano piece. So, I gotta hope they forgive me and can still read the $10.99. <laughs> but I'll pay whatever they want. They want to mark it up even more. That piece is worth a little chunk. This one's really jamming. Normally they don't so loud. I think it's because they're also doing construction. So I'm gonna not worry about it too much. I might have to do an overdub, which I haven't ever done. Well, yeah, but it's been years. I don't love it. <laughs> so I like the, you know, I like the real time. Oh, look. Look at that. It's not perfect shape. It's a little rough, but how much is it? For $5.99? Yeah, it looks okay inside. Handcrafted for you, Enid Collins, 1996. Okay, that's a yes, no matter what. I didn't realize it didn't say it on the outside, and I thought maybe, but when it said that, I didn't know what that meant. I was like, well, one of those kits? But no, that isn't Enid Collins. So $5.99 and little signs of wear, shall we say. Good enough. I did grab a couple things off the end shelf, but she's putting up pots and pans and making a lot of noise. So I was coming over to Flowers, where it might be quieter. Look what I spy. $2.99. <laughs> so there's another safety pin art. But I've got it in the cart. Let me come over here so you can still kind of hear her. I don't know if she's mad today or what, but she's throwing stuff around. I got these two off of the end cap. Now I can't, there's no indication of who made them and I haven't bothered to look them up because they're only $1.99. So a little bit of crazing, so I'm hoping they're older. They're both in great shape. One says mother and one says father, okay? And I think this is, um, you know, well, the ponto looks a little polished. It's smooth, I won't say polished, but I watched a couple people like, well, Jocelyn, of course, and she seems to do well with these little glass trees. So let me try that too. Anyways, okay, this was on an end cap. Now I haven't looked it up. I'm probably gonna go ahead and get it for $8.99. I hope it's not missing a lid, it might be. I better look it up. But this is a Denby. England. I guess, would you say chocolate pot for this since it's so tall? I can't remember how you do that. Something about the spout. And I don't know if you can read that, but it does say Denby. D-E-N-B-Y England. I think I will look that up since it's nine dollars and just check if it'll be okay. If it needs the lid or will it still be okay maybe for replacement? Check the price on that. Well, darn it. It is supposed to have a lid, kind of a tallish lid, three or four inches with a little handle on it. And there's one complete on eBay for about 50 bucks, 15 shipping. So for $8.99, I don't think I should do that even for replacement. Well, shucks. It's been a long time since I found a piece of Denby. I did find some Homer Lachlan Fiesta. I think that's the vintage, right? It's got the H on top, little F, made in USA. I think this is the Fiesta that sells for a little more. $3.99 a piece. And that one has the saucer with it. There's a yellow one. Ah, what happened to you? <laughs> Should probably pick those up. I I think $4 would be okay. It won't make a lot, but it's definitely better than the new Fiesta. Let's see if I see anything else. That might be it too. Let's see. Okay, this is a little bit newer, definitely. The plates are $4.99, but I think this is the older stuff. Okay. 
let me ponder those two. 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm not going to get that one. <laughs> that would probably clean up, but I don't know what that is. Let me think about it. And what do you guys know about this? Cruise and end caps again because they've been putting stuff out. So this is beautiful. It looks vintage. This is Highland Wear from Scotland. No, this is missing a lid. How much is it? $2.99? I think I'll go ahead and get these though. $1.99. This pattern is called Thistle and it's vintage. But Highland Wear Scotland. Oh, I'll get those. All right, you guys, I'm done. I think I have enough time to still go work at the booth. If not, I'll do it tomorrow and might wait till tomorrow anyway so I can film for you guys. I didn't add anything else besides a clothing tagger. That's a really good deal on a clothing tagger. It comes with tags too and you can buy whatever colors and sizes you want. Because I might put some vintage things at the booth. So everything, oh, a grab bag. Look, I don't know what these are. They look like recycled glass. I'm gonna go ahead and get them for $2.99. And each one has a label on it that says it's from Port Gamble General Store and then another label that I can't see yet. Not worried about it. They look like little tiny recycled pieces of glass. So for, yeah, $2.99, I'm gonna do that. There's the money maker right there. Right there's the money maker. Everything in here is good though, but there's the money maker. So yeah, I'm gonna pay $10.99, unfortunately. But it's such a good deal. And then I cannot go to close with you. I could barely even get in there. A bunch more sheer shirts. I know, you guys are like, how many do you need? This is the tank top. This one's different. This one has lace. Lace V front, cage, and then cool sleeves. And these are long sleeve. Those are hard to find sheer long sleeve because it just seems like that ain't right but this one's cool look it has a pattern it's a nice henley v-neck henley meaning slim fit and uh, button up okay that's what i mean by henley sorry i only have one hand but look at that sheer fabric with the extra in there and then little pearl buttons so okay that's it this was a good visit right Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you had a little bit of fun. See you on the next video or on someone else's side chat.